What's up, YouTube? So before we get started with this video, on the getup, they're going to be talking about Cam Newton and how he might want to take less hits and how you might want to run the ball less. So let's see what they have to say about that. Last week, he was asked about his birthday, and, and here is what he said. He said, one thing I'm not changing. I think I'm too old to change, but I can get better. That's one thing I can do. And I like that word, better. Now, it's interesting because a lot of people think in order for him to get better, he will have to change. In order for him to keep playing, he'll have to change. And here's the reason why. Since he came in the league, Cam has been sacked or hit while throwing or rushing over 1,300 times. No quarterback has had even 1,000 hits during that time. And so let me bring in our quarterback here to have this conversation. I'm a huge Cam Newton fan going back to his days in college. I thought he would be a great NFL player. I think he has been a very good NFL player. But the reality is, guys, I don't care how big and strong you are. You keep getting hit like that. How long can it go on? Not, not as long as if you're not taking those hits. I, everyone's natural inclination is to go like, yeah, Cam has to change the way he plays. I totally disagree. Cam has to continue to be Cam. This is what made him the MVP. Asking Cam not to run around or be the weapon that he is running the football or be the physical player he is changes him as a player. You know, we're in the middle of the draft for the NBA and whatnot. Like, imagine telling Zion, you can be the player you are, you just can't go to the rim. That takes away his greatness. Or telling Steph Curry, you can do all you want, you can't shoot threes. That takes away the player that you are. So telling Cam, hey, you need to run around last or, you know, third down, like, don't take that hit. That's going to change the player that he is. Do you want Cam just to no, I get that. Hang out in the so I understand what he's trying to say about uh, changing Cam's game, and that's the way he plays. But at some point, he's going to have to stop taking those hits. He's going to have to stop taking those runs. I mean, it, it just it doesn't make sense because those hits are eventually going to add up, and it's going to cut his shelf life down drastically, especially he just come, he's just now coming off of shoulder surgery. So he's definitely going to take less hits. Another thing is that uh, the Carolina Panthers might need to work on their offensive line, give uh, Cam Newton a little bit more protection, protect him up a little bit more. Uh, again, he's just now coming out of shoulder surgery, so he's going to need more protection. Um, as far as I think the referees probably might need to look out for him a little bit more, uh, I guess in the same fashion that they do for Tom Brady as a, a, an example, um, because there's been some times when Cam Newton has slid and he got a, a couple late hits. And I think uh, the, the referees may not call it as much as they should because Cam Newton's such a big monster that he should be able to take those type of hits. But that's not the point. The point is, if he's a quarterback and he slides, he shouldn't be getting hit. Even though I know runners play that game of they try to juke the defender and slide at the very last second. And it's hard for a defensive player to start the momentum. But when it's a clear-cut case of Cam Newton getting hit when he was clearly trying to slide, I think the referees do need to clean that up. But um, so definitely, uh, Cam Newton, he, he, it's not like they're saying, uh, uh, it's not like he's a running back. And they're telling him, look, we're going to have to reduce the amount of times you run because you're taking too many hits, you're getting older. So Cam Newton, he should be looking to pass first. He should be a passer first and then run second. So that's part of the game that they can shave off of having to run as much and, and not looking to run. Okay, so he's a quarterback. Like I say he's a quarterback. He should be looking primarily to pass. So if he can work on that part of his game and become a more pure uh, passer, that should be able to preserve himself a little bit longer so he has more years to play. So I don't know. Let's keep going. Was advocate that, that, that he would hardly be the first player ever that, as they've gotten older, has been asked to adjust their game. You sure. go like a, a, fa a pitcher who loses a few miles an hour off his fastball, but learns how to get you out other ways. That, that that's what older players have to do in all sports. I no? will agree with that. Exactly, Mr. Greenberg. You, you definitely have to make adjustments because you're not always going to be the same player you were when you came in the league at 22 years old. When you get to being in your you know early 30s, mid 30s, you definitely cannot do the same things that you did when you were younger. So as far as taking these hits, it just it just it's just not smart to take those hits, unnecessary hits. I know you want to get the extra yard, you want to show how tough you are, but that's just not smart. You have to learn to preserve your body so you can play as long as Tom Brady. What's Tom Brady, 42, 43? So if, if, if uh, Cam Newton was playing with uh, Tom Brady's timeline, that means Cam Newton would have at least 13 years left because he just turned 30, right? So if he's going to play as long as uh, Tom Brady is, he has 13 more years. That would be a lot more hits if he keeps playing the way he's doing. He won't make it to that level 
if he keeps taking those type of hits. I like Cam Newton. He's a great player. I think he's a baller, but I think he needs to change up his game to where he's passing a lot more. Like I said, he's not running back, so it's not really hurting his game that much by saying we need you to run less. He's a quarterback. He should generally be looking to pass the ball first and then run. So I think Cam Newton's smart enough that he can change up his game a little bit and have maybe three or four less runs uh, than what he's been having. And if his protection, his O-line can protect him a little bit more, I think Cam Newton could really uh, uh, prolong his career, if you will. So I don't know. Let's keep going. But but the thing is, we hadn't really seen a Cam Newton until Cam Newton came along. Yes, we've had other quarterbacks. Like I remember Peyton Manning, we always used to – Laugh about her. Eli does it too. Like when pressure would come, they would just drop to both knees and do like the fetal position. They learned to not take those hits. But Cam, we had never seen a Cam before, really. To guy, a guy that was both the thrower and the passer. To- so I don't know what this guy is talking about, but we've seen a lot of Cam Newtons out there. Maybe not as big. Well, the guys that quickly come out top of my head is Randall Cunningham. Randy Cunningham used to be a runner and passer. He played for the Eagles. Uh, Donald McNabb, as a matter of fact, Donald McNabb used to run and pass. Uh, Michael Vick used to run and pass. Who else is there? I mean, Steve Young used to run and pass. I mean, there's a lot of guys out there that could run and gun and, and do a great job of it. Uh, what about uh, Aaron Rodgers can run and gun? I mean, there's so many quarterbacks out there that can run and gun. Uh, I can't even think of any more offhand, but I know there's a lot more up there. But Cam Newton's not the only one that has been able to run and gun. He might be the biggest out of him because what Cam Newton's like 6'6", six, six, I don't know, like 240, 250. So, uh, so he, he's definitely not the only one to have done that. He might be the biggest, but I do think he needs to cut back if you want to prolong your career, especially coming off a shoulder injury. And I think they just uh, picked up another quarterback uh, in a draft that Cam Newton might want to be worried about, that they might indirectly be telling him something. So it probably in his best interest to curtail or cut back on the uh, running. So I don't know. Let's keep going. Ask him at 30 years old to take away that aggression, to take away that competitiveness, because the truth is Cam to just sit back in the pocket as a thrower is not a great player. It's not a special player. What makes him great is that throwing. I get it, but maybe they could call just a few less runs. It's one thing for them to take off and run if things break down on third down. Maybe just call a few less running. Exactly. Call a less few runs so you can preserve your quarterback. Um, and definitely, you know, Cam Newton's a smart quarterback, okay? You don't go undefeated in the season and go as far as they did. I know what happened in the Super Bowl, but you don't go undefeated and you're, you're a stupid quarterback, all right? Cam Newton knows what he's doing. He knows how to play. And I know him and his coach can set up uh, an, an effective system to where he's throwing a lot more than he would be, uh, than he did earlier in his career, okay? So I, I have no doubt that Cam Newton can be a, come, uh, a more of a pocket passer and sit in there versus running the ball. So I don't know. Let's keep going. Yeah, I mean, certainly strategic, maybe third downs or red zones or whatnot, but you have to make sure you let him be him. And also understand, one, it is going to minimize his, his playing time yeah. or is, is the long, long, longevity of his career. And that's also why they ended up drafting Will Greer this year out of West Virginia, who's a local kid that you have to... St- so, I, like I said, they drafted uh, a new guy to come on in that's probably running up on uh, Cam Newton. He, he could probably hear his footsteps, but... You can't say, well, we'll we'll just have Cam Newton keep running the ball and he'll get beat up and then once he's out, we'll get rid of him. Cam Newton is a good season quarterback. He's a Super Bowl quarterback. So you don't just want to use him up and throw him away. You want to cut back on his running plays and have him stop running so you can preserve a quarterback like that for as long as possible. I don't care if you just drafted somebody. He's not well-proven. Cam Newton is a well-proven season Super Bowl quarterback. And those are very hard to find. So you want to protect him as long as possible. You wouldn't hear him saying that, well, you know, Tom Brady, Tom Brady's game is he likes to run. So we'll just let him keep running. And then once it's over, it's over. I might cut his career short, but we'll just have him keep running. Heck no, you wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say that with Aaron Rodgers. Oh, but Aaron Rodgers likes to run a lot. So, you know, we just let him run. And it, it'll cut his career a little bit short, but he, it, that's part of his game. No, you don't do that. You don't do that at all. You want to preserve Cam Newton and take care of that Cam Newton. Okay. That's what you want to do. And it's the same thing with Ben Rosenberg and all those other guys. You want to preserve your OG quarterbacks for as long as possible, and Cam Newton's one of them. So let's keep going. Start planning because you know that career might be 14 years instead of...